Now, John Sununu is one of the top advisors for Mitt Romney, and uh, he's been the most aggressive on television attacking the president. Well, uh, recently, Colin Powell came out and endorsed uh, Barack Obama again. Now, he had done it in 2008, and he was in uh, Powell said that he was worried about Mitt Romney's tax plan and his foreign policy, and that. President Obama had exhibited strong leadership, especially in foreign policy, over the last four years with bin Laden dead and some responsible foreign policy and some and, and irresponsibly what? conservative foreign policy when it comes to out of control drone strikes, etc. It's hard to argue with Colin. How will consider a, a, a mature drawdown in Iraq and the plans for the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Right. Now, so those are the legitimate reasons that Colin Powell has for voting. And, and, and by the way, the most important probably in his consideration is that Colin Powell is very much against the neoconservative branch of the Republican Party. He is the old school branch, the real politic branch of the Republican Party. Brent Scrocroft agrees with him. All of George H.W. Bush's advisors are on Colin Powell's side. That's a real branch within the Republican Party. Now, of course, when John Sununu comes on to talk about this, he's not going to concentrate on that policy difference. He's got a different idea on why Colin Powell might have uh, gone with Barack Obama in this election. When, when you take a look at Colin Powell, you have to wonder whether that's an endorsement based on issues or whether he's got a slightly different reason for preferring uh, President Obama. What reason would that be? Well, I think uh, when you have somebody of your own race that you're proud of being president of the United States, I applaud Colin for standing with him. Yeah. Johnson, nice to talk to you. <laughs> I, I, I like the beginning of that. When you take a look at Colin Powell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of, he's like, was wait, that wasn't subtle enough? Okay, all right, I'll just say it. They're yeah. the same race. Yeah. <laughs> but I applaud him for that. Yeah, oh, I'm so sure I, you I, do, yeah. John. I'm sure you do. But again, it might be just simply a case of projection. They think, well, yeah. I vote for Mitt Romney because I'm white and he's white. Yeah. So isn't that how everybody bases their vote? So Why I assume Gold Bell does the same. Question? What's that? Why wasn't that the follow-up question? So are you supporting Mitt Romney only because you're both white? <laughs> right. And and by the way, uh, weird that Colin Powell did not support Jesse Jackson for president all those years, even though they both happen to be black. Huh. Her Herman Cain ran for president this year. Yeah. Now, weird that Colin Powell didn't support <laughs> him either. Huh. Interesting. And then uh, these guys then turn around, Sununu in a different appearance, when talking about uh, President Obama using a curse word in the Rolling Stone interview when he said Mitt Romney was a bullshitter said, can you believe this? This guy has, quote, no class. Mm -hmm. I know you, Mr. <laughs> Racist John Sununu, and I, say, I don't say that lightning, and I don't say it just based on this. He, he's done it yeah, over a, and over again in this campaign. There's a history of it. Yeah, he said, uh, President Obama doesn't know how to be a real American, okay? Mm -hmm. And he has, you know, the same kind of Gingrich lines about the uh, foreign mindset, etc. So Sununu has been by far the most racist of all of the Republican surrogates, uh, almost brazenly so, and then says, but the president has no class. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you're a very credible source on that, John, so I hear you.